AstraZeneca has acknowledged that its COVID vaccine, Covishield, can lead to rare side effects, marking the first time the pharmaceutical company has made such an admission. The company faces a class action lawsuit alleging that its vaccine, developed in collaboration with the University of Oxford, has resulted in fatalities and severe injuries including TTS. Let's understand what TTS is. TTS is thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, which is a rare condition where a person develops blood clots along with a low platelet count. It is also known as vaccine-induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia, VITT. Thrombosis is the formation of blood clots in blood vessels, which can disrupt normal blood flow and could lead to brain or heart stroke. Thrombocytopenia is a condition where there are too few platelets in the blood. Platelets help the blood to clot and prevent excessive bleeding. As per global reports, symptoms of TTS occurred in individuals between 4th to 42nd day after vaccination and TTS was diagnosed in them using blood tests and imaging scans. Blood clots associated with TTS can manifest in various parts of body such as brain, abdomen, lungs, veins of limbs and arteries. Now what are the signs of thrombosis and thrombocytopenia syndrome? How to catch them early? Symptoms of TTS involving the brain may include intense headaches, vision disturbances, speech difficulties, drowsiness, seizures or disorientation. Symptoms of TTS affecting other parts of the body may include breathing difficulties, chest discomfort, swelling in the legs, continuous abdominal pain or small blood spots under the skin. For this reason, several countries decided to ban AstraZeneca vaccine. Denmark led the way by suspending the COVID-19 vaccine followed by Ireland, Thailand, the Netherlands, Norway, Iceland, Congo and Bulgaria. Additionally, European nations such as Germany, France, Italy and Spain halted the use of AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine in 2021 following reports of blood clot incidents in vaccinated individuals. Australia, Indonesia and Malaysia subsequently banned the vaccine due to public safety apprehensions. But soon after, the World Health Organization released a statement regarding safety concerns surrounding this vaccine, affirming that the benefits of AstraZeneca's vaccine still outweighs the potential risks. The WHO further recommended the continuation of vaccination efforts. In 2023, the World Health Organization highlighted TTS as a noteworthy adverse event following immunization with AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine and the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine.